to welcome Mr. Samanyu Gurg, CEO and founder of Right Sonic. Please give a warm applause. Now I kindly request Mr. K. Vandra, Chairman Speakers Committee, to come on the stage and introduce the moderators. Very good afternoon and welcome back. I'm sure as I promised, the lunch would have been sumptuous. Is it, it? It was. Who said yes? <laughs> Very few people are telling yes. <laughs> okay, I promise you a sumptuous dinner now. Okay, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. It's my proud privilege to introduce our panel of speakers today. In fact, this panel is being led by Dr. Latash Suresh. She is a very highly accomplished individual with a diverse range of skills and accomplishments. In fact, she holds three master's degree and a PhD degree. She is also a Commonwealth Professional Fellow from the British Council, UK. She holds dual positions of Head of Knowledge Research Center and Institutional Partnership and Corporate Communications at the Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs and has over 30 years of professional experience. Dr. Suresh has published numerous articles in national and international journals, magazines and of course women issues. Her areas of interest include information science, marketing, leadership, cyber law and many books she has authored. She has also made significant contributions to a field integrating information technology advancements into academic programs and working on funded projects for various organizations both in the country and outside the country. She is very well known for her creativity and innovative approach. But ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Suresh has received numerous prestigious awards for her work and actively engages in social causes such as enver enver environmentalism, environmentalism and gender studies. She has traveled to various countries for her research, for her presentations and invited talks. And today PRCI has invited her to be as one of our moderator and the session what she is going to steer is going to be on reinventing culture in a digital age. And over to you, Dr. Lata Suresh. Actually, I feel more comfortable standing and talking to you all. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Although it's the post lunch session but I'm sure the speakers with me will be going to make this session very interesting because we have a panel of experts who are into the digital field. As we say, I am Nijaha Paro Veti Ganana Lagu Chetaram Udar Charitanam Tu Vasudheva Kutimbukam. So today I can see the international fraternity sitting with us most welcome to the cultural country of the world. So this quote actually encourages us to embrace a global perspective and recognize that in our digital age, the world is interconnected, making us all part of one global family. It promotes inclusivity, unity and the idea that knowledge transcends borders and cultures. In today's rapidly evolving world, the intersection of culture and technology has never been more relevant or fascinating. Our digital age has ushered in a new era, one where boundaries blur, traditions transforms, 
and the very essence of what defines culture undergoes profound changes. Digital yug mein sanskriti ka naya roop, takniki utkrishti, sangatunik samriti ka sanket hai. So culture which has always been a dynamic and evolving force is now navigating the digital landscape with unprecedented opportunities and challenges. So today we have the very prominent figures from the digital uh, landscape. So may I have the privilege to introduce Saman Yu, who is a prominent figure in the field of generative AI, driven by a deep passion for harnessing AI to tackle, integrate real world challenges. He serves at the visionary behind Ridesonic, a company that boosts Y combinators, backing and marries the capabilities of AI with the inquity of human beings to elevate content creation to new heights. Furthermore, he has earned prestigious recognition as a Forbes 30 under 30 honorary and clinched the 2019 Global Undergraduate Award. So, summon you. Most welcome to this session. And uh, we have Dr. Samir Kapoor. I should say Dr. Dr. Samir Kapoor. <laughs> he has double post uh, doctorate degree and uh, additionally has contributed to academia by instruction, uh, instructing the courses in marketing, public relations and business communication at prestigious educational institutions and uh, with an engineering background and MBA. And uh, as I said, he has two PhDs and he is a multifaceted individual. So currently he holds the pivotal role on the board of directors at, at Factors PR. So next is Mr. Raji Dubey. So since we are going to start with him, I would request him to brief about him. Please, sir. Hello. Yeah. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I hope uh, everybody is comfortable. I'll request people sitting on the stairs to come and occupy the seats in the front. You know, there are lots of seats available. If you are okay to sit on a seat rather than stairs. Mm. And I hope nobody sleeps off because it's just after lunch. Uh, I would introduce myself now, uh, like just like Dr. Lada, I also have about 30 years experience. And uh, I, when I started working, I, I didn't know whether I'll go till 30 because 30 used to sound a lot back then, you know. Mm. And when I joined this company, I asked my boss how long he has been there in that job. He said, uh, Two years. I said, oh, two years is a long time. I'm here only for two months. And you know, it's been 30 years I've been in the same company. <laughs> uh, been in the company as long as the Dabur has existed. existed. Mm. Dabur ex has existed, existed for over 140 years. It seems like almost 140 years. Mm -hmm. uh, by uh, profession, I have done electronics as my graduation and uh, done MBA thereafter. And have worked in this field uh, as media planner, buyer, marketeer, uh, influencer for uh, all these years and uh, uh, I hope uh, I can contribute to uh, your knowledge today by answering sharp questions by Dr. Lata. Over to Dr. 